Welcome to Click Pop Engage. Now that you've created your pop, first thing you need to do is start a campaign. So you're going to save your pop that you've created, and we're going to scroll down to our campaigns button. Now you're at the campaign page. We add new, and we will call this the Fat Loss Campaign. And we're going to show this pop on an external website. What website we want to put that over is an article about why it's hard to lose weight. So we're going to copy the link and paste it in here. Now if we're going to want to share this on social media, we're going to have to insert the page title, the description and an image so it will show up in the box, say for example, on Facebook. So first we're going to call this a page title 10 reasons why it's hard to lose weight. In the description, we're going to put find out why it might be hard for you to lose weight. Is there an easier way? This will be really awesome for those of you who are trying to drive traffic in and to uh, capture leads or direct them to a sales page. Okay, and then also we're going to need a page image for the preview box. So I'm going to uh, go find an image on Google of a belly bulge. We're going to click images. Cool, now we've got some images. I'm going to want to use, maybe I'll use that photo there. So I'm going to copy that image URL. And I'm going to paste it in there. So we're going to choose which pop we want to put over this campaign. So we're going to choose the weight loss pop we made before. Now this box here, we get to choose how long until it turns up. So it could be 5 seconds, it could be 6 seconds. We're going to make this one 5 seconds. And you select the type of pop it is. So if you want it to pop up, if you want it to pop up when they leave, or if you want it to wait the time, you can do that. And you can choose the position it shows up on this page. In this case, we want it in the middle and in the center. Now, because we've already set up an autoresponder campaign, we're going to choose the fat loss campaign with the standard thank you message. Or we could redirect it to a URL. In this case, we're going to want to redirect it to what would be like a sales page. So you'll put your sales page link in here. I'm just going to use this link uh, from health.com just as an example for a link. And I'm going to click Save Campaign. Now it's as simple as that. You'll see our campaign is at the top of the screen.